In the second part of the video, we'll take a look at how to publish an integration template to Informatica Cloud and customize an integration task wizard. First, let's log into Informatica Cloud. Then we go into the integration template tab of the configuration section and create a new integration template. We'll give a name for the template and a description. And then we'll select the XML file that was saved from the Visio for the particular template. As we open up the XML file, now we see all the parameters that were defined within the template. We'll give these parameters meaningful labels and descriptions, which will appear in the custom integration task wizard. Next, we will define the display properties for these individual parameters. First, we'll define the display properties for the data sources, and then we'll define the display properties for the, uh, for the business rules, which are the string parameters. Here, we define the connection type for the data source. We'll We'll use the, we can also set the order, the default value, whether the property is editable, etc. We'll choose the flag file or relational database connection for the source. For the target, we'll define the display properties. And here we will choose all connection types as a valid connection type for the target. So any connection can be chosen by the end user for the target. Next, we'll define the display property for the aggregate expression. We will choose display order three, so it appears the third within the properties pane. And then we'll select the input control to be field mapping, which will allow the user to map the fields from the source to the target. We'll also give labels for the left side and the right side of the field mapping widget. Next, we'll configure the condition parameter. This appears in the filter condition or filter transformation. This will appear on top of the, of the other parameters page in the custom integration wizard. We'll choose input control to be the condition control. And we'll set the default value to true. For the group by ports parameter, we'll set the display order to two. And we'll leave the input control as a text box so that the user can just type in the value for this parameter. Now we have defined all the parameters. We'll click OK to save the task configuration settings. Next, let's take a look at how uh, what an end user needs to do to create a task for the template that we just configured. We create a new custom integration task and give it a name. We'll call this order total. And we select an aggregate the uh, aggregation template for this custom integration task. And this is a template we just uploaded and configured. Next, we will select the source. The source connection displays files and database connections. Since we configured sources to be only of the type files and databases in the custom integration task configuration pane. Next, we pick a target. The target shows all the connection types. We 
and select this specific target file. Next, we will define the business rules for this template. When you go to the other parameters page, we'll see the three different parameters that we configured earlier. And you will see that the order of these parameters reflect the order in which we configured them. The first parameter is a condition, which represents the source filter. will change the default condition, which is true, to, to a valid condition. Note that the default true will select all the rows from the data source. So we'll enter another condition here. We'll just check for to ensure that the order ID is not now. Next, we'll set the group by fields for this aggregate operation. We'll group the data set by state. Then we'll define the aggregate function. So here we can enter any valid aggregate, aggregate operations such as sum, average, median, mean, etc. Please refer to our online guide to access the list of all supported transformation functions, including the new aggregate function. we've entered the aggregate function. We can validate this task to ensure that it's valid and then we save it and it's ready for execution. And that ends this demo. Thank you.